in, in terms of like the, the simple basics, right? So you on earth, people have to poop. You're like, it's important to poop. Well, are you sure you want to talk about this, uh, this problem? Because it is pretty challenging. Okay, we're here. We're about to make history. We are doing an IG Live to the International Space Station. It, oh, yeah, and see, now that's the thing. Look, I'm doing it like that. Everybody can't do an interview to the International Space Station in house shoes, right? Don't judge me. I'm keeping it real. What's up, Emily? Hi! How you doing? Good, how are you? I am so good. Thank you for doing this. Yes, let's talk about space. Let's talk, yeah, so I'm trying to get a sense of the questions that I should be asking to the International Space Station. Yeah, I mean, some of the most important ones are talking to them about just like being weightless. They lose like 10 times the amount of bone density as like a 70 year old woman. Wow. So you can ask them about their workout regimen and you know, how they actually work out in a weightlessness. Oh, ask them also about how many sunrises and sunsets they see every day because they are orbiting the Earth every 90 minutes. That's obviously cool, but it also messes up with their sleep cycle. That is fantastic. Well, thank, thank you very much for your time. All right, thanks, all. Good thank luck. you so much. Thank you. This is the actual food that the astronauts eat. Strawberries, that's strawberries. And little brown balls. Little brown, they yeah, little brown balls. Yeah. What else we got? Little doing brown here? ball. This is shrimp fried rice. Are you seeing that? I'm gonna try it. Right. I'll take a little tiny taste. Wait a minute. Oh! Mm. No. Give me. <laughs> I. Now I have the opportunity to have a, a space, space taco. A space taco. Space taco. This, uh, I, 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 I had never imagined this could oh, be possible. What is that, man? That looks so appetizing. It's cheese. All right, so I feel thoroughly ready to go handle this conversation. I feel um, astronaut ready. You know, I feel like I understand everything about being an astronaut. Houston Station, we're ready. It's like, it's claustrophobic. Houston, this is Station. I am ready for the event. Station, this is Will Smith in Savannah, Georgia. How do you hear me? Hey, Will. Got you loud and clear. This is Drew Feustel. I'm taking over the National Geographic Instagram live from the International Space Station. Hey, what's happening, Drew? I'm just up here hanging around about 250 miles above the planet, flying over, uh, just flew over uh, Australia and heading towards New Zealand right now. I just came back from Australia. Yeah, you probably had a different view than we have from up here. Hey, man. Well, th thank you very much for doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this. I've been... Uh, uh, up all night. I've been uh, on on Instagram, the, downloading questions from the the fans and stuff. Bring the questions on. We'll see what we can answer. And uh, if I don't know, I'll try to make something up. All right. <laughs> so I just saw that. That's very hot. Like with the, see, I you know, I started out as a rapper, so I wish I could make my microphone do that. So that, let's jump in here. So the first thing with the the weightlessness. I may look a little younger, at least I hope I do, because I've lost some of the wrinkles in my face and my eyes get a little puffy and my legs get real skinny. So, uh, you know, if you want to get on a, a good weight loss program, this is a good place to be because you'll immediately notice a difference and uh, everything on the lower half of your body gets skinny and everything on the upper half of your body gets a little bigger. So uh, that's the main effect that we see right away from being weightless and being in microgravity. So how does that affect your, your like, muscles or, like, you, you actually don't get to use them? 
we exercise every day. We spend about an hour on the resistive exercise device, which is uh, using uh, dampeners and springs to push back on the forces we put into it, to be able to do bench press, bicep curls, squats, those sort of things. And then we run on a treadmill for about 30 to 40 minutes as well. So those things are what helps us counteract um, muscle atrophy and the changes in our bones. In, in terms of like the, the simple basics, right? So you on earth, people have to poop. You're like, it's important to poop on earth, right? So when you're up there, I see your microphone <laughs> floating. I need to understand what you do with that. Like, how do you manage that? Well, are you sure you want to talk about this, uh, this problem? Because it is pretty challenging. Um, <laughs> I like to say you can have a good day in the bathroom and you can have a really bad day in the bathroom. And you, really, you hope for the good days. The bad days can be challenging. On Earth, we talk about the, the, you know, the Mile High Club. Has anyone, you know, attempted, for research purposes, has anyone attempted, you know, the process of procreating the human species uh, in space? All right, well, similar to the last question, I'll just say, are you sure we want to talk about this on the interview? <laughs> I'm just, you know, I, I'm a man of the people, Drew. I'm a man of the people. And it's important to me to ask the questions that the people want the answers to. I'll just say, as far as I know, I have no knowledge of those tests being done. Uh, <laughs> but I can imagine that that would present some unique opportunities. Yeah, so, yeah, it's interesting. Hold on. Show me the picture. Because when, when I found out that I was going to do an interview with you, I found out that we had, we had a little bit in common. A picture of you and you're holding a, a, a hammer and it looks like in your in your home in your garage can you can you see that that was in that was in fashion but you'll be you won't be surprised to hear that uh, that was shortly after i had a perm so i had a perm at one point i had a mohawk about the same time i'm wondering what we were both thinking that we could get away with a crop top half shirt how many sunrises and sunsets do you see in the course of a day yeah, we pick up 16 sunrises and sunsets. It takes me an hour and a half to get around the planet once. Wow. So in that, I've, I've heard a thing, you know, I'm doing the, the, the one strange rock. So I've, I've heard of a thing called the, the overview effect. That, that when you go and you look back on the earth, it has a emotional and psychological and spiritual effect. We wish that every human being could see with their eyes, not just pictures, but with their own eyes, what the Earth looked like from space. And I think it would, I personally think it would change us as a species. It would change us and make us all realize that Earth is really a spaceship and we're living on a spaceship with just a thin shell uh, that keeps us safe from, uh, from the vacuum and, and darkness of space. When you look back, what is the shape of the spaceship called Earth? It's pretty darn round from, from my viewpoint, and uh, it's, uh, there's no doubt about it. We're going around and round. Thank you for this. You know, uh, when, when I was a child uh, growing up, I, I was one of those kids. Oh, is that, that's the, the water. I don't have the that's, water, but that's, uh, wow. that's candy-coated uh, chocolate inside of a ball spinning. No, that, that is fantastic. Um, thank, you, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, sir. Take care. That's crazy.